Hello and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number eight. Today we're going to be looking at PowerPoint and how you can take a PowerPoint presentation that's narrated and convert that into a video file. Then we'll show you how to upload that to YouTube and make it available for other people to see. This is particularly helpful if you have a narrated PowerPoint because sometimes you want your students to be able to view it without having to download the file. You'd rather them stream it. They won't have to have PowerPoint or anything like that. And it allows you to basically create lecture capture uh, on your own without having to spend a lot of money or use expensive equipment or anything else like that. So basically you start off in PowerPoint and when you're in there, you simply go up here to record slide. It's under the slideshow tab and you just choose record slideshow. And it'll start the recording from the beginning of the slideshow and then start recording. So I'm just going to practice one right now. You begin speaking as if you were normally presenting your show. So I would say, okay, welcome to our EdTPA video guidelines. These are student recommendations. You can get the handouts right here at tiny.cc slash edtpa dash handouts dash gsu. And the five steps we're going to go through, possibly six, are prepare for video editing, record video, and so on. And then I would just advance through the show as normal, and it records the timings and my narration. It's recording it right now as part of the narration. When I'm done, um, I just hit escape and it'll save it. At this point, I need to take the file and export it into a video file. So I can go up here to file and choose export, and there's an option here to create a video. So I select that, and then I choose what resolution effectively I want to record it at. And I can pull this down where it says computer and HD displays. And notice that it shows the resolution there. This may be higher depending on the resolution of your screen. Uh, mine is set fairly low because I'm doing this as a screencast. I want to keep the file size small. But choose the resolution that you would like, and then whether or not you want it to reuse the recorded timings and narrations, and any slides that you don't have timings on, how long will they last? And then you just choose create video and tell it where to save it. So just choose a place where you know you can find it, like the desktop or something like that, and it will start rendering this video. Depending on how large of a video file or a presentation you have, it will create a larger video file. So just give it time and wait for it to complete. So when it's done, you can just close out or minimize your presentation, and you'll see your video wherever you located it at. And then you can open it up and play to see if it plays. Okay, great. So this is good. I've got this video file now. It's of my presentation. I need to get this up on the web. So at this point, I can just go to YouTube, log into my account on YouTube, and click the Upload button. And then I can just drag and drop it there, or even click to Select. So I can drag and drop this video up here, and it starts uploading immediately. I can then put in the information I want in there, choose public or private or unlisted. After it's finished processing, it'll notify you and your video is available for viewing. Click done. And I can get to this video right now. And there's my presentation live on YouTube. That's it. Thanks, guys.